The Myth of Vampires From Folklore to Pop Culture The Myth of Vampires, a tale as old as time, continues to captivate the human imagination. Originating in ancient folklore and deeply rooted in the fears and superstitions of early civilizations, the vampire has evolved over centuries, morphing from a terrifying symbol of death and disease into a romanticized figure of eternal life and dark allure. The story of vampires is not just one of horror, but also one that reflects the shifting cultural and societal concerns of different eras. Origins and Ancient Beliefs the origins of the vampire myth can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Mesopotamians, Greeks, and Romans. These early societies believed in demonic entities and spirits that would drink the blood of the living. For instance, the Greeks feared the Impusa, a shape-shifting demon that preyed on young men, while the Romans had tales of the Strix, a bird-like creature that would drink the blood of infants. These early myths laid the groundwork for the vampire legends that would later emerge in Eastern Europe. The concept of the undead, creatures that would return from the grave to haunt the living, was also prevalent in these ancient cultures. The fear of death and the unknown, coupled with the high mortality rates and the lack of medical knowledge, fueled these beliefs. The dead were often blamed for unexplained deaths and plagues, leading to rituals aimed at preventing the dead from rising again. These rituals included staking the bodies to the ground or decapitating them, practices that would later become synonymous with vampire lore. The Evolution in Eastern Europe The vampire myth as we know it today began to take shape in Eastern Europe during the medieval period. In these regions, particularly in the Balkans and Slavic countries, the vampire was seen as a reanimated corpse that fed on the blood of the living. This belief was likely influenced by the region's harsh living conditions, frequent wars, and outbreaks of diseases like the plague. The vampire was often blamed for these misfortunes, serving as a convenient scapegoat for unexplained deaths. In Eastern European folklore, vampires were often described as bloated and ruddy in appearance, quite different from the pale and emaciated figure popularized in later Western literature. The methods for dealing with vampires were equally gruesome, including driving a stake through the heart, burning the body, or burying the corpse at a crossroads. These practices highlight the deep-seated fear of the undead and the lengths people would go to protect themselves from these malevolent beings. The Influence of Christianity Christianity played a significant role in shaping the vampire myth. As the Christian faith spread across Europe, it absorbed and reinterpreted many pagan beliefs, including those related to vampires. The vampire became associated with the devil and was often depicted as a creature that could only be defeated by holy symbols such as crosses, holy water, and consecrated ground. The idea of the vampire as a being that could not bear the light of day also emerged during this period, symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. This Christian influence can be seen in the depiction of vampires as damned souls, cursed to walk the earth for eternity. The idea of the vampire as a sinner who must feed on the blood of the living to sustain their unholy existence reflects the religious belief in the sanctity of life and the soul. The vampire's need for blood also echoes the Christian sacrament of the Eucharist, where believers drink wine representing the blood of Christ, further intertwining the vampire myth with religious symbolism. The Literary Vampire From Folklore to Fiction the 18th and 19th centuries saw the vampire myth transition from folklore to literature, where it was further refined and popularized. The publication of works like John Polidori's The Vampire, 1819, and Bram Stoker's Dracula, 1897, introduced the vampire to a broader audience and solidified many of the characteristics we associate with the creature today. Polidori's work is particularly notable for introducing the concept of the vampire as an aristocratic figure, a theme that would be central to the portrayal of vampires in subsequent literature and film. Bram Stoker's Dracula is perhaps the most famous vampire novel ever written and has had a profound impact on how vampires are perceived in popular culture. Stoker's Dracula is a complex character, both terrifying and seductive, embodying the Victorian anxieties about sexuality, immigration, and the erosion of traditional values. The novel's portrayal of the vampire as a foreign invader who preys on the innocent reflects the fears and prejudices of the time, while also reinforcing the image of the vampire as a creature of darkness and evil. The Romanticization of Vampires In the 20th century, 
the vampire myth underwent a significant transformation. No longer just a figure of horror, the vampire became increasingly romanticized, reflecting changing attitudes toward death, sexuality, and the supernatural. This shift can be seen in works like and Rice's The Vampire Chronicles and The Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. These stories portray vampires as tragic, misunderstood beings, cursed with immortality and a longing for human connection. This romanticized view of vampires reflects a broader cultural fascination with the idea of eternal youth and the desire to escape the inevitability of death. The vampire, with its immortality and supernatural powers, represents the ultimate fantasy of living forever, free from the constraints of time and mortality. However, this fantasy is often portrayed as a double-edged sword, with the vampire's immortality coming at the cost of their humanity, leading to a sense of alienation and loneliness. Vampires in Film and Television The vampire's evolution from folklore to pop culture is perhaps most evident in film and television. From the early silent films like Nesferatu, 1922, to the modern-day TV series like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and True Blood, vampires have remained a staple of the horror genre. These portrayals have continued to evolve, reflecting the changing social and cultural concerns of each era. In the early 20th century, vampires in film were often depicted as monstrous and terrifying, embodying the fears and anxieties of the time. However, as the century progressed, vampires became more complex characters, often portrayed as anti-heroes or even sympathetic figures. This shift can be seen in films like Interview with a Vampire, 1994, where the vampire is portrayed as a tragic figure, struggling with their identity and the moral implications of their actions. The Modern Vampire A Symbol of Rebellion In contemporary pop culture, the vampire has become a symbol of rebellion and nonconformity. The modern vampire often rejects traditional values and norms, embracing a lifestyle that is outside the bounds of conventional society. This portrayal reflects the growing cultural fascination with alternative lifestyles and the desire to challenge the status quo. The vampire's association with youth culture, particularly in the 1980s and 1990s, also reflects this trend. Films like The Lost Boys, 1987, and Blade, 1998, depict vampires as cool, edgy characters, living on the fringes of society and defying authority. This image of the vampire as a rebel and outsider resonates with audiences who see themselves as similarly marginalized or misunderstood. Vampires as a metaphor for addiction Another recurring theme in modern vampire stories is the idea of the vampire as a metaphor for addiction. The vampire's insatiable thirst for blood is often depicted as a kind of addiction, one that consumes and ultimately destroys them. This theme can be seen in works like the Blade series and True Blood, where vampires struggle to control their bloodlust and the consequences of giving in to their cravings. This portrayal of the vampire as an addict reflects broader societal concerns about addiction and its impact on individuals and communities. The vampire's struggle with their bloodlust can be seen as a metaphor for the challenges faced by those battling addiction, including the loss of control, the impact on relationships, and the constant threat of relapse. The Vampire as a Reflection of Society The enduring appeal of the vampire myth lies in its ability to adapt and reflect the changing concerns of society. From its origins as a symbol of death and disease to its modern incarnation as a metaphor for addiction and rebellion, the vampire has remained relevant by evolving to mirror the fears, desires, and anxieties of each era. The vampire's transformation from a figure of horror to a romanticized anti-hero also reflects changing attitudes toward death and the supernatural. In a society increasingly secular and skeptical of traditional religious beliefs, the vampire represents a way to explore the mysteries of life, death, and the afterlife in a way that is both thrilling and thought-provoking. The Future of the Vampire Myth As we move further into the 21st century, it is likely that the vampire myth will continue to evolve, reflecting the new challenges and concerns of the modern world. With advances in technology and medicine, the idea of immortality is no longer just a fantasy, but a real possibility, raising new ethical and moral questions about what it means to live forever. At the same time, the vampire's association with themes like addiction, alienation, and rebellion will likely continue to resonate with audiences, ensuring the enduring popularity of this myth. 
Whether as a symbol of fear or desire, the vampire remains one of the most compelling and versatile figures in mythology, a reflection of our darkest fears and deepest desires. The Enduring Allure of Vampires The myth of vampires has endured for centuries, evolving from ancient folklore to a staple of modern pop culture. This evolution reflects the changing concerns and anxieties of each era, from fears of death and disease to questions about identity, addiction, and the nature of humanity. Despite these changes, the vampire has remained a powerful symbol, embodying the eternal struggle between life and death, good and evil, and the human desire for immortality. As the vampire myth continues to evolve, it will undoubtedly remain a subject of fascination for generations to come. Whether as a figure of horror or a romantic anti-hero, the vampire will continue to captivate our imaginations, reflecting the ever-changing landscape of human fears, desires, and beliefs. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.